I've always been interested in food since I was young. The leche de tigre, and this is the marinade. So this is what essentially cooks the fish. Just a local guy who likes to cook food that is not from here, but using the local fare. Going to Peru, you try something and you're like, this is really cool, how can I make this a Boston dish or a New England dish? It's all served up with some tostada, and it's ready to go. Lawrence native Dan Bazanotti and Keith Pooler are the chefs at Pescador, where the menu is influenced by the coastal cuisines of Latin America, Portugal, and Spain. Utilizing these local ingredients with very traditional recipes and traditional styles to come up with something that's very unique that you don't see anywhere else. Pescador is located in Boston's Kenmore Square inside the Hotel Commonwealth, the former home of Island Creek Oyster Bar. It's a very iconic space. Not only are there big shoes to fill, but it's an opportunity for us. It's one of three new eateries by New York-based Blue Ribbon restaurants on this block of Commonwealth Avenue, along with Blue Ribbon Sushi and a brasserie that's slated to open later this year. The food is fun, the drinks are fun, and this is a fun neighborhood. The carefree atmosphere is complemented by the bright beachy decor. When you walk in, you have the eternal sunset going on in the ceiling. Those brilliant colors continue atop the Plato Especial, teeming with calamari, snapper, and shrimp. Plenty of seafood to share. They're all different spice levels. The oysters asadas are a decadent delight. They're just roasted in the wood fire oven and they come out, serve with a little house-made focaccia. Once you're done, just sopping up that beautiful butter is the best part. The whole roast branzino is served family style with toppings and tortillas. The fish just cooks so beautifully. It's nice and light, delicate and buttery. It is brushed with a little bit of adobo, roasted over the coals. We wanted something that when it hit the table, it was a wow moment. Moment. There's also a plethora of pizzas, including the shrimp and chorizo topped with avocado tomatillo salsa. The big thing about the cuisine here is that there's nothing to hide behind. It's very simple. You have to use the best quality products. At the bar, nearly 100 bottles of mezcal and tequila to satiate any cocktail craving. The whole thing is that we want people to just have fun. This is like the intersection of history and luxury. You was a double entendre, you meaning color, and it's also where we're located. We're at the corner of Huntington and Exeter, so H-U-N-E. Hugh is a passion project born of the collective talents of hospitality veterans Robert Eugene, George Abajaudi, and Maurice Rodriguez. In the fact that we're in Back Bay, is so exciting. There's so much rich tradition. This has a great past. We're an iconic space, Copley Square Hotel. This is the original location of Storyville, the legendary jazz club that over the years featured jazz greats Duke Ellington, Ella Fitzgerald, and Billie Holiday. Today, the destination spans two floors and features three different rooms. Downstairs, there's a speakeasy, which has some nice little secrets that you can discover once you're down there. Very intimate, very warm. Each room has its own bar with unique specialty cocktails, including the Copley Picante. It's a tequila-based cocktail, has a little bit of a spice to it. It's going to be a really big hit. In the kitchen, executive chef Barnett Harper is cooking up distinctive cross-cultural fusions. We want to have a sense of familiarity to the menu, but we wanted to add a flair to it. So that's introducing a lot of Asian and Indian spices to traditional American food. The chicken wings are sticky and crispy, tossed in a sweet chili sauce. The chilled portobello mushrooms are topped with garlic chili and scallions. And the twice-cooked noodles with stir-fried beef are coated in a savory oyster sauce. We wanted the space to be reflective of Boston and what the community is. We want people to feel at home when they come here. Very inclusive space. This is a dream come true. After a long planning process, Hugh officially opened last week. And back to Pescador, its sister restaurant, Blue Ribbon Brasserie, is slated to open later this year in the space next door where the beloved Eastern Standard once stood. Eastern Standard is opening in a new location across the street sometime later this year. Coming up.